Hey guys, what's going on? This is Don Two. We are back from a review, and we're we'll doing a review of Ukulele. I absolutely love this game. Um, first off, this is the predecessor to Banjo Kazooie. It did everything right about it. Um, you can pretty much just call this Banjo Free because you're not going to see a Banjo Free from Rare War. Um, I don't think any time in the near future. So. Yeah, you can pretty much just count this as Banjo Kazooie 3. Um, and I think this is what Nuts and Bolts should have been. It should have been like the originals. It should have been um, a Banjo Kazooie game, not a flipping kart racing game. Um, not to say that Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts has a lot of only bad things about it. It has great graphics and um, the character designs are really, really good for the most part. <laughs> um, but anyways, back to Ukulele, um, I absolutely love this game, I got such a nostalgic feel from this game, um, when I stuck this on Star Planet, it just made me think back to when I used to play Banjo Kazooie, and I just got such a nostalgic feel from playing it, I just see myself, um, as a kid playing this game, if it was out back then, but yeah, I just absolutely loved every single part of this game. It is absolutely great, and I'm going to go further into it in the review. So, enough chatter, and let's begin. So, let's talk about the story first. The story revolves around Capital B, who is a giant bee, and he is trying to get his hands on the Grand Tome, which is a magical book, which, if he can get his hands on it, he can rule the world with it. It's a basic um, <laughs> bad guy plot. It's not really special, but... Um, He's using this uh, machine, which absorbs all the books back into the, the hivery, which he owns, and he's trying to get his hands on this book. And this is where it cuts to Ukulele, Ukulele, who is chilling out beside their home. Uh, they actually have the Grand Tome, and they're even they're using it as a blood and drinks coaster, and. It gets sucked up in this machine, and they decide, oh, we want to get this back, so we're, we're going to go on this the ivory and try to ask for it back. Um, which they do, that's pretty much how the game starts, and that's pretty much just the basic um, premise of the story. So, let's move on to the gameplay. So, as you're exploring ukulele, you will find pages, which, if you collect enough pages, you will unlock the next world for you to explore. Um, each world has about 25 pages to collect. Um, also it has like 200 quills to collect. It has right up ghost riders, it has molecules, it has um, park standards, health extenders. Uh, there's a lot to actually collect in these levels and there's a lot to do in these levels. So the levels might be big and open but by no means are they really, really boring, there's nothing really to do in them. There's plenty to do in each level, and in each level is different. You got, um, sort of like a jungle themed, um, or a temple themed level. You got a nice level, you got space level, um, you got casino level, which is one of my least favorite levels, by the way, in gaming. <laughs> so you get like, a ton of different levels to explore and there's tons to do in each of these levels so it will keep you busy and saying that you can actually collect all the molecules or the power level or the power um, things in each level straight away because you will need moves that you will unlock later on in the game to actually get some of these uh, quills and not just quills but the pages as well so you actually will have to stop what you're doing and go back to um, the previous levels to actually get 100% in each level. So yeah, that's going to have an incentive to um, try to get 100% in each level and it's going to keep you actually busy playing the game. So yeah, that's what the basic gameplay premise is and moving on to uh, the game's graphics itself. So the graphics for this game are really fantastic. The levels are well designed. Each level is unique, you're not going to see the same level repeated twice. Um, saying that there is a lack of levels in the game, um, but that's sort of a minor nitpick for it. But uh, talking about the graphics, the graphics at each level are great. Um, 
each level is, as I said, unique. They look absolutely fantastic. Um, they're really well designed and they are beautiful to look at. The characters are well designed and they are for the most part fantastic as well. There's no real major issues with the graphics. I did have a couple of like bland textures which I ran into now and again and a couple of shallowing issues but um, there's no real issues with the game itself. If you're not going to go about looking for those sort of things, um, yes you won't find them. So yeah, for the most part the graphics are really really good so they are and aside from a few minor nitpicks I would say they're probably some of the best I've seen in a platforming game in a while. So, moving on. So now I'm just going to be talking about some of my minor nitpicks for the game. Um, these are like major issues in the game. I just find them really, really annoying at times. Um, first off, it's some of the challenges. Some of the challenges can be really fucking difficult. And can be an absolute pain in the ass. Um, take for example, the cartoons levels. Cartoons levels are fun. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Minecraft stages. I think Donkey Kong Country <laughs> just got me hating those fucking levels because of how difficult they were. Um, but yeah, these cartoons levels you have to play at 100, 200, uh, 100, 120, 140, 160, 170 gems. And sometimes it can be a bit difficult. The levels are pretty small. There's a lot of enemies about. And if you do hit an enemy. It's going to take I think about 20 gems off you. Which is a pain in the fucking ass. Um, so trying to get all these gems together. In the, sh uh, the short period of time you have to get to the start to the end of the level. Um, it can be a bit annoying at times. And I do remember me going back and having to actually do these levels multiple times and try to complete, uh, complete them, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's just like one minor nitpick. Not just the cartoons levels, to say, but also some of the racing levels can be a pain in the ass as well, if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, some of the checkpoint ones where you have to go through the like, checkpoints, especially one in the main hub of the Hivery, which you have to go down a slide, or keep going down a couple of slides, and they have enemies, oh, well not enemies, but they have blockers blocking your path, and you have to dodge in now, you have electrocuting things, which if you get electrocuted, um, it's going to set you back at least five seconds at a time, and it only gives you like a minute to do this, and it's a real fucking pain in the ass to beat. Um, you just have to be perfect in everything you do in that level, um, but yeah, there's just some minor nitpicks of that. Um, part. Um, the next is the boss battles. This is just normal in the pick, but the boss levels, some of them didn't have health items to help you get back hearts if you end up making a wrong move. You can it can cost you the the boss battle. Um, some of the boss battles aren't hard. They're just a pain in the ass sometimes, and sometimes memorizing their patterns um, can be a bit, a bit annoying. Sorry. Um, I put this down mostly to the last boss battle, which you have three stages to fight them. The first one, the first two, he does like basic moves, there is the end of the dodge, but once you get to the third level of the boss battle, um, first off he belly bounces you, he tries to belly flop you, and then he has beast chasing you and he has like... Other things they send out shockwaves along with him when he belly flops he sends out a shockwave. Um, and then he flies, which then you have to fly yourself and try to get the missile around um, to actually hit him. And with your power bar just going down really, really fast, it can be a bit annoying to do. And sometimes you will get hit with it because you're not going to have enough time to redirect the missile round to where he is or you're just going to be waiting for your power bar to recharge and you're going to get hit without, without fail. Um, it took me a while to beat the last boss but he's not overly difficult but the last couple of parts are a pain in the ass to beat him with. So yeah I think that was all the major issues I really had with um, ukuleles game itself, there's not really much I had to complain about it to be honest.
So let's move on. So yeah guys, I would definitely recommend you pick up this game. If you're into platformers or if you're into just games that are, are really quirky and fun, I would definitely recommend it. It will definitely keep you busy with all the collectibles it has in the two um collect. Um the characters are absolutely fantastic. Um I love how they don't speak at all, it's just text dialogue with um strange voices in the background. Um so like Banjo Kazooie used to do as well, which is really, really awesome. Um I just loved every single part of this game. It was just so great from the quirky characters to the references to other characters like Kartos being a reference to Kratos and uh Lily actually turned around and said that she's the god of uh, that he's the god of ore, but still the god of war, which is really, really awesome. Um Capital B actually mentioned in Gex said, Oh, I had another lizard round here before collecting crystals which is uh Obviously, a reference to Gex, which is awesome, because I love Gex too. Um, I really hope this sparks a revival of 3D platformers, because platformers have sort of died out nowadays. You've got only a couple of ham a handful of games keeping the genre going, such as um, No Big Planet and Shovel Knight, which he also makes an appearance in this game too, which is awesome. Um, but yeah... This game is absolutely great. I would highly recommend it to anyone who um, enjoys just fun, quirky games. And I don't think there's anything else I can say about this game, guys. Um, overall, I would say it's definitely recommend. I, I would definitely recommend you play the game. Um, I don't want to give it a review score. I hate giving review scores, but um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this game, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Thanks for watching. See you next video. This is Donald Toulson. Keep on gaming guys and see you next time.